Hi guys and welcome to another video. Today I have a little book haul for you. <laughs> it seems like almost all the videos I do on this channel are book hauls and I just today ordered like so many books online. I was looking for a Father's Day present and then I noticed like all these books that I've wanted for a long time and some of they just sound really good <laughs> and they were really cheap. So <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> I'm never gonna save money, am I? I'm supposed to save money for, you know, the holidays, but... Oops. Anyway, without further ado or guilt, let's get into this, which is for me a small book haul. <laughs> so the first two books are Brenda Sanderson books. Uh, the first one I fear is The Bands of Morning by Brenda Sanderson, a Mistborn novel. And uh, this is a part three of a series that takes place in the Mistborn universe. And I recommend it if you haven't read Mistborn yet by Brandon Sanderson, who is amazing. I recommend all of his books, seriously. Um, read Mistborn first and then this series. That's my recommendation. Uh, I read the first book of this three part series and I thought it was really good, but I think I'm gonna reread it and then read part two and three right after it. Because I think I like forgot just some things that I'd rather remember <laughs> when I start reading the next two books. So yeah, I'm really excited to finally read this because it was too expensive when it first came out or at least like too expensive for me because I like to buy a lot of books. So I tried to buy them at discounts and sales. And yeah, I bought this on Amazon Germany for six euros, I believe, which isn't too bad. And yeah, can't wait to read it. Then we have another Brenda Thompson book. So this is basically an anthology with all kinds of short stories that he wrote. Some of them have been published before, others haven't. Um, they all take place in one of his universes. So basically his books take place in this multiverse. Um, so they're all sort of connected, but I don't really see it yet. And he says you're not really supposed to see it yet. Like some readers have noticed things, but yeah, I haven't. <laughs> I didn't know it was not first when I started reading it either. Um, but there will be like some crossovers from his different series, or at least the world, in future books, apparently. Anyway. <laughs> These are all short stories that take place in that time, and the one I'm most excited about is Edge Dench. Yeah. <laughs> so excited, I can't even speak. So the one I'm most excited about is Edge Dancer, which is a short story that plagues, plagues taste. Oh my gosh, words that takes place. <laughs> This is all just excitement, guys, um, and a little bit of exhaustion. Um, takes place in the Stormlight Archive universe, and the Stormlight Archive books, I think, are two of the best books that I've ever read in my entire life. Like, seriously, I think it's always gonna be Harry Potter number one. It's just always gonna be number one. And I'm pretty sure that the Stormlight Archive is number two. And the third book is coming out really soon, like in November. But until now, like, it could have been years away we didn't know so it's in november and i'm so excited for it anywho <laughs> so these are all short stories i haven't read it yet uh it came in the mail yesterday and it came damaged why is this my life um so i'm gonna have to you know write to amazon and see if i can get my money back and exchange this for you know a working copy <laughs> one that isn't broken uh, but they're all short stories. I recommend that you read them after you read the series, like his books. First of all, you have to read them. But it's probably more interesting if you do, but you can read them all separately. So, and if there are spoilers for certain books, it says so before the story, which I thought was really, you know, kind to do. <laughs> okay, so those two I was most excited about. Uh, I can't really say much about it yet, because I don't know a lot about them yet. Because I still have to read them and return this one Arcanium Unbounded <laughs> and have to wait until the you know the new copy comes in which is just terrible so let's quickly move on to the next book so this book I bought for one euro 75 cents um, a second hand store which has gotten increasingly expensive by the way because a book like this used to cost like 50 cents 75 cents a euro at most and now it's like one euro and 75 cents Still not really expensive, but everything there has gotten like twice as expensive as it used to be. Um, anyway, End of the Earth by Peter Matthiessen. <laughs> and it's uh, Forges to Antarctica. So it's basically like a travel book, and I haven't read many of those. 
I don't think I've read any of those. <laughs> you know, it sounds interesting, like the Antarctica, I probably, I will probably never go there in my life. So, you know, to read about it, what's like to be there, it seemed really interesting to me. So, you know, this is one of those books I'm gonna try to read it pretty soon because otherwise it's just gonna end up on my shelf and I'm never gonna read it. So I'm keeping this next to my bed so I can occasionally read pieces of it. And I've only just started and so far, like, nothing much happened yet, but I'll keep you updated. <laughs> Then next we have two books that I bought at Koningsdag, which is a while back now, but I never showed them on camera and I thought that this, you know, haul would be too short, although the video's already pretty long. So I'm just gonna show them anyway. For I think like a euro I bought Best New Fantasy by, edited by Sean Wallace. And this is basically like short stories of new names in fancy genre so i figured like i don't really read a lot of short stories but i love fancy and i kind of want to read more short stories um you know just broaden my horizons and i figured if i really like one of the stories then i can just see what other books they have written so interested in this one and then this book is really cool because i've wanted this book for a while now but it was always just too expensive and i figured you know, um, I might not use it, or if it's so expensive, I don't want to write in it. And I bought it for 50 cents on King's Day. <laughs> so it's 642 things to write about by the San Francisco Writer's Grotto. So it's basically like this book filled with writer's prompts, which I thought was really interesting. So you have, this is kind of like the setup of the book. You have these prompts and then a little space. Like I figured it's not really that much space. I'm not sure if I'm going to write in the book itself. Maybe I should to just, you know, limit myself and grow by only using good words. <laughs> but it's like, uh, fix the plot of the worst movie you've ever seen. Why do you write? What people don't understand about you. What is your strength really thinking when you tell them about your day, your life, your hopes, and your fears? Um, write about something you know absolutely nothing about, make all of it up. So like, write about aerodynamics or whatever. <laughs> but it also has things like, find a section of your writing that has no energy to keep uh, to it and rewrite it. As a lo one long sentence. Be sure that the sentence keeps expanding outwards. Don't worry about it being a run on, just let it flow. So it's also like try to rewrite things maybe in a different way. I don't know, I just thought it was an interesting book when I saw it uh, like one or two years ago, I think, at ABC Bookstore. But I think they sold it for like 20 euros. <laughs> so I was like, okay, that's really interesting, but no way am I gonna buy that. So I was really glad to find it, like in our little town of all places. Uh, hasn't been written in, so I don't really think it has been used. And yeah, we'll see how this goes. If you're interested, I can keep you updated or tell you a little bit more about what this is about. Maybe, you know, wait till I've written a few bits and do a review if I actually think it's a good book for writers or not. So that was my book haul. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll be back again soon with a really, really, really big book haul. <laughs> um, yeah. Basically, I had my first paycheck ever uh, a while ago because I, I work at school now, like my high school, local high school, for two days only to tutor some kids who have trouble before the end of the year with their English. And like the money I get from that, I just spend it all. <laughs> on one massive book haul so that's coming soon <laughs> so some of you might have noticed i've been writing down on some of my videos like uh in the description box new videos every thursday and sunday but that was a little bit too optimistic because first of all i just don't have that many ideas for videos and i was going through them so fast so i figured it would be wiser to just keep it once a week so every thursday i'm gonna try to upload a video Probably around like 3 p.m. Probably. I don't know. Just on Wednesday afternoon, I'm gonna try and upload a video. Wednesday, Thursday. I'm so sorry. <laughs> on Thursday, I'm gonna upload a video. Thursday. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. Uh, please do leave a comment down below what you think of these books. Are you a Brandon Sanderson fan? If not, and you love fancy, like please just read his work. 
I'm just, yeah, just read it. <laughs> and I will see you soon. Bye. Thanks for watching.